And now for the obligatory introduction, as every episode on YouTube requires. This is episode 222 of Fine Music. Don't believe me? Take a look at Jim's cap. <laughs> and now, our leadoff man is back, Fred Whitlock, with some hmm, information you need. Okay, today I'm going to talk uh, about a couple of reissues. Uh, the first one is a jazz album, a wild jazz album by Sun Ra called Space is the Place. Uh, it features his 19 piece band and the title track is 21 minutes long filled with mood synthesizer, wailing saxophones, and June Tyson on vocals. Now this was a, originally a soundtrack to a weird movie. The move, film was supposed to be a documentary on Sun Ra, but it turned into a black film, a very strange film about Sun Ra trying to recruit young black men to forming a space colony. <laughs> and over the years, the whole film was never seen. It got cut down to 60 minutes. Now, this reissue that just came out last week features 40 more minutes of the music and a DVD Blu-ray version of the complete film. It, Sun Ra died in 1993 at 79. He had an Afro-futuristic sound to his jazz. And it predates Funkadelic Parliament by years, what he was doing. The title cut has just the title word space is the place sung over and over and chanted over and over as saxophones wail and mood synthesizer and organ goes on it goes on for 20 minutes the man was iconic and a visionary it took many years for people to catch up to him and he's a pioneer of electronic keyboards in jazz and he uses African polyrhythms and of course, free jazz. Now this album won't be for everyone's ears, but I find it just incredibly creative. And he was, like I said, a generation before George Clinton and some of the cuts on the album include his poetry, which was published in a book. It's challenging to listen to, it's avant-garde, and has great, besides the title cut, it's got images, sound, see a sound, rocket number nine. It's got trumpets wailing on calling planet Earth. There's another cut called Outer Space Incorporated. Creation is a fabrication is one of his cuts. And he asks, is this life? Why are people dying? Mm. Now, another reissue that came out last week is called 1973, Whatever Happened to the Teenage Dream, Mark Bolin and T-Rex. It incorporates the 72 album Tanks and Zinc Alloy, which came out the following year, Zinc Alloy and the Hidden Riders of Tomorrow. It's a four disc set. Includes singles, demos, outtakes, and plus an unfinished album, which he, he was recording with one of his backup singers, Pat Hall. He was getting into a little bit of R&B and soul sound, trying to change it up just a little. It still has that same guitar lines, but 
a little more soulful. He flirts a little bit with fuzz guitar and heavy metal, just a little get for a change up. And then he has saxophones and Mellotron throughout these albums. Now he was getting into R&B soul music two years before Bowie recorded American uh, his American soul album. And uh, the singles are, of course, great on this. It, like Born to Boogie, Children of the Revolution, 20th Century Boy. There's standout cuts on this. Plus, you have to be a T-Rex fan to want to have this set, obviously. Now, he added the soulful backup singers on these two albums and the singles. And yes, his lyrics get a little bit bizarre, surrealistic. But the songs explode in T-Rex fashion. And I would say if you're a fan, get into the groove with Mark Boland. Murray had something to tell you. Did I? About Sun Ra. <laughs> oh, oh, just that um, I actually, I have the original of that album. Not oh. <laughs> so, now I have a, uh, I inherited from my, yeah, brother-in-law's brother, shall we say, a whole bunch of jazz albums, including about 20 Sun Ra albums. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, and yes, he's very difficult, but he's, unlike some of the other freeform jazz that I inherited, he's consistently interesting. Yes, it's I not, agree. You know, it's, yeah. it's not just notes all over the place and you're kind of going, what? There's something going on there, even if you don't understand it. I've got a T-Rex question. You ready, man? Okay. My favorite T-Rex song is Girl in the Thunderbolt Suit. Is it on the box? Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I didn't memorize all the titles or write them down. Yeah, it must be a lot of titles, yeah. Yeah. All right, I was just idly curious because I love that song. <laughs> What's the title again? Girl in the Thunderbolt Suit. Okay. Very catchy. Yeah. His Mark Boland's downfall was he was falling into insecurity when his career was kind of getting rocky. Mm -hmm. And and he, you know, started drinking dive. heavily and got into drugs and oh, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> and he had the same uh producers Bowie uh Tony Visconti yeah and but uh he finally left Boland because Boland wouldn't listen to him anymore <laughs> and so in same a career an episode of fine music 222 reissues get them or at least look into them. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Thank you, gang. <laughs>